Growing up, I always saw beautiful paintings and of other places in the world, and I thought that, that Florida hadn't been interpreted yet uh, for the beauty that I experienced growing up. I, I think even after traveling around the world that Florida is one of the most beautiful places in the world. When I first started painting, when I returned from Europe and came back to Florida, everyone wanted my paintings of Europe. And as I painted palmettos and scrub, and it was something that people didn't really attach value to when they looked at, at paintings of Florida. Now, with, with some years now, people all, they, they want my Florida paintings. And to me, I can see that as a positive symbol that, you know, Florida is losing its self-esteem problem of thinking that beautiful places are somewhere else, that we're starting to look at ourselves and realize that this is really a, a beautiful place to protect. And if art can be a part of that, that would be wonderful. I did the painting from a, a boat. I was traveling with uh, Captain uh, John Timmel and Carlton Ward, and we were investigating that area and moving from Cape Sable up into uh, Shark River. That was the first time I had been there and seen the ribbon of, of beautiful white beach stretching along the southernmost mainland of the United States, which I had never really seen the Everglades from that view, from the water from Florida Bay, looking, looking back that way. The white sand underneath was reflecting a lot of light off the bottom, and so the water was a jade-like color. There were uh, small puffs of, of clouds drifting across diagonally over it. It was exciting for me to see a whole coastline with nothing built on it, to just to imagine the Florida coastline as it was, you know, many years ago. It's, it was very special, it was jewel-like. I'm, I'm only beginning to know the beauty of Florida. Uh, every time I go out, I'm more and more amazed by the beauty of Florida.